let's get started. Go ahead and take your feet and place them about hip distance apart. I know it feels a little narrow, but that's gonna help you really key into the core. Take the therapy ball right in front of the thighs and put gentle pressure on either end. Lift it all the way up overhead as long as your shoulders give you that range of motion, and then press in as you pull the shoulder blades down. Come back down, we'll try it again. So lift up, get a little bit bigger range of motion, squeeze into the ball, drop the shoulders, and feel the shoulder blades coming down into your back pockets. You get to do that two more times. Really lengthen through the spine, drop the shoulders. Good, this last one, the most pressure on the ball that you can on either end, squeeze and down. Now hold that engagement in the backside as you bring the ball down to the thighs, slide the hands in the front, and roll down, elbows press into the ball, and we're really gonna take the tailbone up, chest up, shoulders back. Hands come down, tuck your chin in, and around all the way up. We're gonna call that our vertical cat count. You get to try it a few more times. Drop down, tail lifts, feel the stretch in the abdominals, tuck in, and roll all the way up. Two more, make them a little bigger, a little more fluid. Lift up. Last one here. This one, really think about the elbows pulling back in and down. Stand up tall. Feet can come out just a little bit wider. We'll take the ball, place it right above the knees. And right where that divot is in the ball, I want you to squeeze the inner thighs. Inner thighs are connected to the core. You should feel the pelvic girdle lift. Squeeze, and I just want you to take the hips and tilt them forward and back. So soft bend in the knee as you tilt forward and back. Just get a little mobility in the pelvis. One more time. Re-establish that gentle pressure between the thighs and rock the hips side to side. Put your hands right at the hips, try to keep them level, and then lift the tail up corner to corner. A couple more. Great, now settle down into a squat. Hands can go on the thighs. Still applying that gentle pressure. Feel how the abdominals kick in and rotate the knees in one direction. Two more, feel the ankle, knee, and hip mobility here. And then reverse it, go the other way. Two more of those and we're gonna head into some squats. So from this position, just drop down half an inch further and then push up. Not really concerned with the range of motion for this since we are talking about core. This is all about squeezing the thighs on the ball to engage every single muscle down the torso. Let's just do two more. Drop the weight into the heels, then stand up tall. Perfect. Now hold here. You're really gonna have to think about that squeeze and this will be a test for you. Trying to lift just the right leg, shift your weight to the opposite side, hold the squeeze, feet come back together. Try the other leg. One may be a little smarter than the other, we'll even that out. Do one more on each side, and then we're gonna put this together with the squat. So linking the two moves together, drop into a squat, come up and lift the right leg, squeeze. It's not a big range of motion, but activates the core. Two more, drop down, stand tall. Perfect, last one here. Now get back into a squat and hang out for just a moment. You're gonna take the ball and place it underneath the knee, so pop the heel. It may take a moment to get it situated. Stand up tall, grasping the ball right underneath the hamstring. Now you're gonna feel the hamstring kick in, and that is attached to the core. This is an incredible move. If at any time you need to reestablish your balance, put the foot down and try again. We're gonna take the leg around to the back and come forward. A soft bend on the knee, and if you wobble, it's okay. That's core work. Great, let's try it one more time and stay in the back. Now hold that squeeze, feel the hamstring engage. We're gonna reach forward, bend the standing leg and touch the floor. Eyes can follow down to the ground. Find something to focus on for your balance. One more all the way down and up. Now can you get down there and hold it? Reach the arms out wide. Now you can stay here or take a break. If you want one extra challenge, reach the arm across the body, come back forward, hands on the thigh, and now pulse the heel to the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then come all the way back up. Nice, grab the ball, place your feet a little bit more than hip distance apart now. It's gonna go right at the waist. Arm comes down to the side. And I just want you to try to pressure in, the ball in towards the midsection. Squeeze. Hold it there for a minute and feel how everything switches on. Go ahead and let it go. Do it one more time. Hold. Now hold that engagement and you're gonna twist towards the right side. Hips stay forward, shoulders move, and come back. Now you can try that again or we're gonna add balance. So shift your weight over, toe stays on the floor, squeeze in, and rotate. What about lifting the leg up and trying that? Hold. Might not be easy twist. 
Doesn't look like a big move, but you'll feel it. Ball comes in front, step into a side lunge. We're gonna go down to the ground. Turn and face the bent leg. Ball comes on the floor and step back to your knees. I want you to take your elbow, place it right in the center of the ball. Other elbow down and right underneath the shoulder and walk the legs back. I'd like for you to separate the feet and if you'd rather do this on your knees, feel free. One long line, head to heels. We're gonna begin what we call the saw, reaching out and pulling back in. Reaching out as far as feels comfortable, pulling back in, trying to keep the hips down square. Let's try it one more time. I have one more challenge in this position. Walk the feet together and hold. Now, if you'd like to go for it, let's lift the back leg and balance. Three, two, one. Feet come down, drop the knees, press up, and roll back into child's pose. Reaching long head drops. And lift back up. Come up to kneeling, stand all the way up. We repeat the whole thing on the other side. So walk the feet back in, ball goes right above the thighs. Squeeze and begin your squats. We're gonna add a variation to the squats here. We're gonna go for eight. First four are simple. Getting down as low as you feel comfortable, that pressure on the ball. Go ahead, get down to the bottom and hold. Try to lift the right leg. Drop and stand. Try it with the left. Now if you're deciding this is not for you, feel free to stay with the regular squats. Just hold at the bottom for a moment. Right leg, good, and one more. Do you remember the abduction? Stand up tall, squeeze the legs, lift the right leg and hold. See if you can get a little bit more range of motion with that integrity between the thighs. Squeeze, little bobble's okay. Squeeze one more time right and left, then we add it to the squat. Perfect, last one. Now drop into the squat. Right leg lifts as you come up, trying to link this together. That's where the core activation really comes in. Balance, two more. That's it, drop into the squat, hold it. Ball comes out, and this time we try with the left leg. Ball goes right underneath the crease of the knee, squeeze with a hamstring, and lift up. Beautiful. Now try to reach the leg around, and come back forward. One more time. Around, it's like you're going up and over. Good, take it to the back and lean forward. Hands go onto the thigh for just a moment. Now drop all the way down to the ground if you can. Head follows your hands and stand all the way up. Let's do it again. All the way down and up. Here's the fun part. Lean over and hang out. Hold the arms out wide. Now you can stay here. If you want an added challenge, reach across, anchor with a foot, come back up. Hands come back to the thigh, flex the foot, push the heel to the ceiling. Eight, seven, this is a tough one. Four, three, two, one. Come up to knee and remove the ball. Beautiful work. Step out wide, ball comes right down in front, side lunge. Leaning over to the left, pivot towards the side. Ball goes down, hand comes down, knees come down. Turn the ball forward, forearm right in the center of the ball. Other elbow lines right up underneath the shoulder. Extend the legs back behind you or choose to do it on your knees. Legs can go wide before the saw and then reach out and in. Two more. See if you can't go a little further. Last one, walk the feet back together, whole plank or last challenge, back leg. Three, two, one, release. Knees come down, hand comes up, sit back, roll the ball long and stretch. And slowly roll yourself up and you made it, congratulations. You made it through an incredibly challenging core workout. Thanks so much for joining me.